Okay, so let's do some examples now. Um, just a kind of a mix of, of sine, cosine, and tangent here. Um, this one says uh, sine inverse of square root of 3 over 2. Sine is the y value, so I'm thinking at what angles do I have y values of square root of 3 over 2? And those angles would be pi over 3 or 2 pi over 3. Now for inverse sine, we only want this side of the graph. Okay, pi over 3 is here. 2 pi over 3 is out here. So the 2 pi over 3 gets thrown out. And the answer is just pi over 3. Okay, next one. Cosine inverse of a half. Um, so I'm thinking to myself, where on the circle does cosine have values of one half? Now, uh, cosine is the x, so I'm thinking x values of one half. And so I find x values of a half at pi over 3 or 5 pi over 3. Okay, now let's consider um, where inverse cosine is. Inverse cosine, we have to be at the, on the top here because we want to be from 0 to pi. That was our range uh, for inverse cosine. So where are these angles? Again, pi over 3 is there. 5 pi over 3 is down here. So we throw that one out. And there's our answer. Next one, tan inverse of 1. So where on the circle does tangent have a value of 1? Now tangent is y over x. So where are all the, the coordinate points, y's over x's, do they reduce down to 1? And that happens in two places. That happens at pi over 4 or 5 pi over 4. Now, inverse tangent is like inverse sine. We only want values that are on the right side of the graph. Uh, pi over 4 is halfway between uh, the axes in the first quadrant. 5 pi over 4 is down here. So we throw out the 5 pi over 4. We want the 5 pi over 4. Okay, next one. Cosine inverse of negative square root of 3 over 2. Cosine is the x values. So where do we have x values of negative square root of 3 over 2? And it could be at 5 pi over 6 or 7 pi over 6. Okay, so again, use the graph if you need. Inverse cosine is stuff on top. Uh, where are these two angles? 5 pi over 6 is here. 7 pi over 6 is down there. 7 pi over 6 is not in the top half, so our answer is 5 pi over 6. Okay, next one. Sine inverse of negative 1 divided by square root of 2. Um, let's rewrite the problem first to say sine inverse of negative square root of 2 over 2. Um, all the, the points on our circle have the radicals rationalized, so I just I want to see it rewritten. Now it's a sine inverse problem, and for sine inverse we need to think to ourselves um, y values of the points. So we're looking for y values of negative square root of 2 over 2. And that happens twice. It happens at 5 pi over 4 or 7 pi over 4. Okay, so where are those points? Again, sine inverse we want on the right side. 5 pi over 4 as an angle is here. So that's out. 7 pi over 4 
sorry, here. That's the one we want. But we don't want 7 pi over 4. We want the negative equivalent that goes backwards to reach at 7 pi over 4. What we want is negative pi over 4. Same place as 7 pi over 4, but just we're coming down instead of wrapping all the way around this way. Okay, and the last one, tan inverse of negative square root of 3. So where does tangent have a value of negative square root of 3? Uh, usually tan inverses are the hardest because for tangent I have to think to myself y over x. So I have to look at all the points on the circle and figure out at which points does the y coordinate divided by the x coordinate give me this value right here. Okay, um, so if you take some time to look, you can pause the video if you want um, to look on your own. It happens twice. It happens at 2 pi over 3 or 5 pi over 3. Okay, so now it's inverse tan. So inverse tan is like inverse sine. I only want stuff that's on the right hand side of this graph. Uh, 2 pi over 3 is there. So it's out. 5 pi over 3 is here. That's the place we want, but the angle's too big. I need the negative equivalent of 5 pi over 3. We want negative pi over 3. Okay, time for some composition of functions. Uh, cosine of sine inverse of one half. Well, with any composition or any time you see parentheses, you always start on the inside. So I'm going to begin right here. I'm just going to ignore the cosine. Okay? So sine inverse of one half. Um, where, at what angles do we find a sine of one half? A y value of, you know, the, the y value of the point of a half. It happens at pi over 6 or 5 pi over 6. Now we want the one that's in on the right side of the graph, correct? So we throw this one out, this is the one we want. Okay. Well that's just the answer to what's inside the parentheses. I'm now going to use that answer to work out the outer function. So the cosine of all this inside stuff is pi over 6. So what is the cosine of pi over 6? What's the x value of the point at pi over 6? And it's square root of 3 over 2. There's our answer. Okay, the next one. I'm going to start right here. Cosine of pi over 4. It's not an inverse function, so I'm not having to pick from two angles. I just want the cosine of pi over 4. Cosine of pi over 4 is the x value at pi over 4, which is square root of 2 over 2. Okay, so that became this. Now I want sine inverse of that. So where on the circle do we have y values of points of square root of 2 over 2? And it happens twice. It happens at pi over 4 or at 3 pi over 4. Uh, I want the one that's on the right side of the graph because it's sine inverse. And so that would throw away that one, and I'd pick pi over 4. Okay, next one, tan inverse of negative 1. Start the same way. Um, where, start inside the parentheses, and where does tangent have a value of negative 1? Uh, tangent has a value of negative 1 at, let's go with 3 pi over 4 or 7 pi over 4. Okay. Um, so again, where are those two angles? Let's just kind of draw it out this time. 3 pi over 4 is here. 7 pi over 4 is here. I don't want this one because inverse tan has to be on this side. So I want the 7 pi over 4, but I want the negative equivalent negative pi over 4. And bring this down. 
I now have to do the sine of negative pi over 4. Well, so sine is the y value of the point at negative pi over 4. So the y value of the point at this spot on the circle is negative square root of 2 over 2. Okay, last one. Cosine of pi over 3. We're going to start there inside the parentheses. It's no inverse function, so just what's the cosine of pi over 3? Which means what's the x value at pi over 3? That's 1 half. Now I want the arc sine of a half, which means where on the circle do we find y values of a half? And that happens twice. It happens at pi over 6 or 5 pi over 6. Um, it's the same problem we just did up here. So we're going to throw out the 5 pi over 6. The answer is pi over 6.